Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you this week. This one's from a company by the name of Desert Does It. I've never used their products before, so we're gonna test it out today and see just how good it works. What this product is, is a multi-mount um, molly panel, basically. It's just a, a smaller molly panel that would fit up underneath the front of the seat in an area where you would normally not be able to put anything. Uh, it's going to allow you to, to put some stuff there on the front of it. And I'm just going to set it right down right there. But, you know, you, you guys have all seen the uh, the gun mounts and all that where they mount like right here next to your your uh, shifter. Well, anybody that is going to be stealing from you or looking in your car, a thief, you know, that's the first place he's going to look. He's going to look right in the middle there uh, by that shifter and see your, your handgun sticking up. So... You know, I know if I was a thief, I, you know, that's what the first place I'd get. I'd break the window or, and grab your gun right there and be gone. But with this, it kind of puts it down real low to the ground, up close to the door. And with the door closed, you know, um, it's going to be a lot harder for them to see. Now, yeah, they can probably still look in from the passenger side and maybe get a glimpse of it. But it's not going to stick out like, you know, like I said, with a big handle sticking out right here. Also, for you guys that use, uh, you know, knives or something that you want to stick right here or a fire extinguisher that you want to strap in right here. You know, they make those element fire extinguishers that look pretty cool right here. Be easy to get to and, you know, be a perfect out of the way spot. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in, to going on this and get it installed and and see just how easy it is and and what all you got to do uh, i skimmed through the directions real quick and and uh i uh read that you gotta take the front bolts out of the seat and i'm have limited tools where i'm at right now so uh, i guess i was able to find a 3 8 socket that fits the bolt right there on the front and then the ones there in the back so i went ahead and took the front bolts out of the, the front of the seat and uh, as far as the back ones I've got this smart liner floor mats in the Jeep and so they cover all the way from back here all the way up underneath the seat and cover up the uh, the hardware to get to the bolts for the back of the seat so trust me if you need some good floor mats these things are amazing but I'm gonna have to take my rear mat out to be able to get to the bolt there and the bolt there. So went ahead and pulled the mat uh, loose on this side and I'm gonna go ahead and, and loosen this side. And then I'm gonna loosen this side. But you don't wanna loosen them up too much. Just enough where you can slide the bracket in uh, up front. So I'm gonna see if that done it. All right, so I went ahead and removed the two front uh, bolts that come in the Jeep seat. And you can see uh, that that's them right there. And I've, like I said, I've already loosened the back one. So whenever I go to pull back on the seat, you can see it's pr just loose. They also supply you with some replacement bolts because you're not going to be reusing the stock ones um you can see that they're about the same length but the, the ones that the desert does it supplies you with has like one or two more threads on it and they're also a, a socket head so uh, it, it accepts an allen wrench so they give you this bracket here and like i said you got that uh, allen head bolt and you want to take this bracket and you just want to tip the seat back like an inch and slide the bracket up underneath the frame there on the seat and then you take and you replace this uh, bolt where the stock one went and let me shine the light there where you can get a good view of it I mean you see what that bracket looks like and everything but I'm not gonna be able to video this while I'm doing it because my hands gonna be in the way so uh, I'll show it after I've got it installed and everything over, over on that side. So um, it says that you can uh, install these with an Allen key. Well, it might be a little bit difficult uh, being right up next to that transmission tunnel and the seat 
Uh, so uh, I found a little a little trick for you guys. Take you a bit and put it, make sure that it fits your, your socket head and your um, Allen key bolt there. And take a quarter inch socket, put it on there like that. And now you have a way to uh, make that fit in there in a tighter spot. And then you just put your socket on there now, some of you guys might have um, the uh, sockets that already have this uh, Allen head built in. All right, for the driver's side, you've got this little bracket right here, and it fits down right into this little uh, recessed area where the bolt would fit in there. It just fits right in there just like that. And then you just take the supplied bolt and you just kind of get it all lined up so you guys can see that I've got it bolted down right there. Uh, and you can see the bracket is straight up and down. Now I don't have it tightened down yet, but I just wanted to show you that that uh, bracket that Desert does it supplies uh, just fits down in that little recessed area of the seat. So, you know, it's not gonna get into your floor mats or any of that stuff if you're trying to take those out. That was one of the questions that I had. And so just wanted to confirm that. So I went ahead and got the front uh, bolts that Desert Does It supplied put in the place of the factory bolts. If you're wondering if the uh, the bolts that they're going to supply you is as good as the factory bolts or not, they are. They're uh, rated at like 12.9 uh, grade, where like the you know the other bolts that come in it are probably grade eights or something like that. These are like 12.9 or something like that. I think I read in their paperwork. So they're a lot stronger than the factory bolts, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. And so I went ahead and got both brackets uh, put in and then I went ahead and, and took the, the molly panel and I went ahead and got it started on the front of that bracket there. And then you're gonna take your supplied uh, bolt and there's a hole in the front of the, the uh, bracket there. And you're just gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Now, if you're wondering what if you it won't fit exactly, well, you can move these brackets a little bit, but also there's a little area here on the front that's slotted, so there's a little bit of a room for some adjustment in there. So let me get it all tightened up and I'll show you what it looks like. But you can see right there, that's that slotted section and you can move it uh, side to side. Uh, I went ahead and got the uh, the molly bracket installed there in front of the seat. I gotta say, very impressed with it. Uh, it gives you a little bit of extra storage where you wouldn't normally be able to put anything there. You know, it's just kind of a dead zone. And, you know, I wanted to have a place to stick my gun down there where not everybody and their brother could see it. I've got these little magnetic mounts that you can pick up through Desert Does It. And they have just a little screw on the back and you just slide it through the, the section there on the, the molly wherever you want to put it there's slots in it so you can adjust it wherever you want it and then tighten it up and then I'm gonna do this right here so once I get the uh, magnet pieces mounted down there then I'm gonna take my Ruger LCP and it snaps on the back so this is the perfect gun for the the Jeep because you don't have a whole lot of room there. So with the LCP, it's just gonna fit right up there and be nice and tucked away. And you know, ain't nobody gonna really be able to see that. And with it all black like that, with the magnet all black, that thing's really just gonna blend in and it's, it's gonna be out of everybody's way. Plus, you know, it's still gonna be out of the way for the, um, mats when you go to take them in and out all right guys so i uh, just wanted to show you i've got that uh, piece mounted up that's it's a, a magnet and it's got like a rubber coating over top of it i got it mounted right there and then i just take my lcp and stick it right in there and you know it's pretty uh hidden i mean truthfully uh, because a lot of times we'll keep the seat up just a little bit not all the way back now when i'm driving I've, i have it all the way back but most of the time my girlfriend, uh, she has it about middle ways. And so with the seat about middle ways, um, then you can't even really tell it. I mean, truthfully, 
unless the window was rolled down and you could look in, I don't think that you would be able to, to see it. Now I'm gonna try to look in from the, both sides with the camera and see if I can see it. All right, so pretend I'm a thief. I'm gonna come up, look in, and see, you can't even see down there. I mean, you can't, if when you're looking in the driver's side, there's no possible way you can see down there where that, that gun is mounted because it's too close to the door. So let's go to the other side. And I'm doing this with you guys for the first time. I, 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 this is not something that's staged. I mean, seriously. No, there's no way. There is no way that you could see that. I mean, I, there's glare on the window, but I'm trying to shield it with my hand. But I don't think there's any way. I mean, really, the I guess the sun would have to be shining in perfectly to be able to get enough light in there to see. Yeah, yeah. I, no. No, there's, there's no way. There's no way that you could see in and see it just because of where it's at. So, and again, that's with the seat um, halfway. Let me adjust it all the way back like I would be driving. Okay, now to make it fair, I've pulled the seat all the way back in its furthest position. And you can see where the gun's mounted. And if you wanted to, um, if you're one of those guys like me that's real tall that you keep the seat all the way back and nobody else drives this thing, then you could always take and flip the the magnet around to the other side and put the LCP in right there and it'd be even more hidden. So yeah, that's just an, another idea guys, you know. So let's test it out and see if we can see in and see the gun in there. Now you can see the bracket, but you, you can only see uh, the, the end part of it. You can't really see in, on, at least on the driver's side. Let's check it out on the passenger side. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Now on the the uh, passenger side, you can see the gun because I know it's there, but you have to really be looking for it, especially if you mounted it behind the bracket, like I showed you. You know, I, I don't think that they would pay that enough attention to even notice that. So now if you're wondering if it'll interfere with you getting in and out, uh, I wear a size 14 wide, extra wide. And so, you know, I've got pretty big feet and you can see this, it might be in your way. You might hit it a little bit, but from the most part, it doesn't really bother me. And if I do accidentally bump it, it just moves over a little bit on that magnet. So I really hadn't noticed anything uh, getting in and out of it that's going to bother me. So, you know still got enough room now i wish jeep would have left a little bit more room down in there because that's where i always seem to hit now if you uh need some sort of angle bracket or something like that uh to mount on that molly panel let's say you do want to mount your gun next to the the shifter you can they have they offer a molly panel and you can see right here that it's got six areas where you can adjust it up or down and you can mount it in both holes or just one hole and you can do all kinds of infinite adjustment you can mount it over here or you know if you want to put the the uh gun up closer to the the shifter like what i was talking about like i wouldn't do you know where thieves could see it then you could mount it right there and they also offer a brace that comes up you know if you want to mount it like that so uh, it's really just up to you and you know also if you're like me and you, you keep the seat all the way back all the time and nobody else drives your vehicle, this is pretty cool because you could mount magnets on the back part of this bracket and put a flashlight back there. And that way it's not going to be in as much in your way up here. Uh, if you rest your foot back here or something like that, or if you got big feet like me, you might accidentally knock it off sometimes. You could just use the back of that, that bracket to mount whatever you want so in the next few weeks we're going to be coming up with different stuff to put up here and like i said i'll probably get one of those element fire extinguishers and mount up here and you know that'd just be a great location to keep it where you could grab it real quick and you know if you had a fire or something like that so so i just wanted to show you guys uh, i know it's kind of hard when you're videoing outside you know it's it's hard to get a, a good look at what that molly panel looked like but i'm on their website now and you can see right there that's the multi-mount panel 
and uh, you can see there's the bracket there to mount it and then on this side there's the other bracket and then it comes with the two supplied bolts that are actually a lot stronger than stock so you don't have to worry about you know if this is a good quality piece it is made from 6061 aircraft aluminum so you know it's going to be strong and you know uh, I'm really impressed with it. I can't wait to find some more stuff to connect to it. And there's all different sorts of mounts and things like that um, that you can use to, to hook onto this all over the internet. You know, if you want to use uh, zip ties, you can. If you want to use clips, you can. That's the cool thing about that Molly system. You can use Velcro. I mean, there's just plethora of different stuff you can use to attach it, um, whatever you're you're trying to secure down to the the molly system so and the cool thing is is they don't make these just for jeep uh, they've got them for ford gm uh, jeep mercedes-benz sprinter van uh, dodge rams the subarus and toyotas so you know check out their website they've got a bunch of different uh, products for uh, lots of different vehicles now, i told you guys that you could run that uh, right angle bracket and they also have like an extension bracket that hooks onto it um, you can see right there it's called your right angle bracket and clockable extension and it's a universal uh, bracket that will work and help you be able to mount your your firearm uh, up next to the, the gear shift if you want it up there in that location so um, check that out all right guys so i couldn't leave it alone come back out here and i thought well let's uh put that little angle bracket on there and put a little magnet mount right there and see how that looks just in case you guys want to try that and I'll be honest with the LCP it just kind of hides itself in that interior because it's you know it's small and it's dark and it doesn't stick up real high as if you was to put like a 1911 or something like that in there or a big Glock you know that thing's going to be a lot taller um, but with the LCP it's just so small it just kind of kind of blends in or you know if you wanted to angle it down I guess you could you could put it right in there and you know truthfully you know you wouldn't even be able to see it from the passenger side and you know you really have to kind of look for it you know with the with the window roll down on the driver's side but i think it looks pretty clean that way so if i was going to mount it right next to the gear shifter where you know you could see it a little easier then i guess mounting it on that bracket would be ideal you know with that magnet now i do have a taurus a full size pistol it's a like a millennial pro or something like that and i'm gonna try it out and see what it looks like it's my girlfriend's and you can see that you know if it wasn't purple that it would blend in a lot better but you know it actually don't stick up too terribly bad not like what i was thinking and you know with the the body contour right there you know, with the jeep it's kind of a, a perfect spot for it right in there so i actually do like it i didn't think that i would like it i was pretty much against putting it there you know but you know if you if you like it right in that location then you know that you can make that work and you can angle it back uh, any which way you want now with her she keeps the seat about middle ways where i keep mine all the way back uh, so you know even with the seat pulled up some you know even pull it all the way up you still got enough room and then pull it back one notch you still got plenty enough room right there and should be out of your way when you drive all right so i just wanted to show you guys with me in here as big as i am you know you can see that it it doesn't really bother me even with that full size gun in there you know it's close but you know, I don't ever keep my leg pushed over that far anyways when I'm driving. And, you know, if I, if I wanted to, I can always tilt it back a little bit. And then it don't even get in my way. So, if you wanted it straight up and down, I would say that it you're probably going to bump it a little bit with your calf. But, uh, you know, if you tilt it back, you should be, should be all right. So, I think that's pretty cool for you, you guys that like carrying it out in the open like that. But, uh anyways appreciate you guys watching sorry the video was so long and drawn out but you know before you guys make a purchase on this stuff i want you to see how it fits and you know just want to be useful and uh bring you guys a good video and i appreciate you watching 
Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, see you guys later.